my name is Nancy and welcome to my channel. Today I want to bring you to my home and paint a girl's chart in my nursery. I'll also show you some tips on how to paint your wall. I have been looking for a girl's chart for a while and there is nothing on the market that I love. So I decided to paint myself. The thing about Miro is that you can always pick your design and it's a very inexpensive way to dress up your space. So let's get started. For this project, you will need a pencil, eraser, painter's tape, permanent marker in different size. I also pick up some brushes at home goods. I only need the small size, but if you have a bigger design, maybe a bigger brush will save you some time. For paint, I got these from Home Depot. They are the sample size paint, and you can get them $5 each. I got orange and then black color. Before you start, you want to put some fabric or paper to protect your floor. And as you can see, I already drafted the design on my wall. I'm ready to go in for the color. I do want to give you some tips that I wish I know before I start the project. So after the first coat, I see some colors not even, so I have to go back and apply the second coat. So I will say at least to do two coats or three to have a better and even color on your wall. I found it easier to work from left to right and top to bottom in case I accidentally smear the design with my hand. I did use permanent marker for all the outlines because it's very easy to achieve the thin line that I want to achieve for this drawing. However, I do notice permanent marker and painting has a different effect on wall because it's a different material and then they have a different shine. So make sure you test it out which one works the best for you. Last but very important is that really take your time. This painting is gonna stay on your wall and then from my experience, they are not that easy to erase if you make a mistake. So always wait until the first coat to dry to do the second coat, and then wait until everything is dry to erase your pencil mark. And then in the process, make sure you always step back to see the whole design if it's the way you want it. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much fun doing this project. If you're also planning to paint your wall, leave me a comment below on what great ideas you have. This is my first YouTube video. If you find it helpful or entertaining in any way, please like and subscribe. My name is Nancy. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.